This is the final part of my lecture on descriptive statistics in which I'll summarize what we've learned so far. We've learned that data can be described by a frequency distribution of values and the mean is a measure of the center of that distribution. It's what we call in ordinary English the average. The variance is the average square deviation from the mean and the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. That's used as a measure of the spread of the distribution about the mean. We learnt the recipe for calculating mean and standard deviation. First of all, add up all the values. Secondly, divide the total by the number of values to give the mean. Thirdly, subtract the mean from each individual value, which gives the deviation from the mean. And square each deviation and add up all the squared deviations. Then we divide the total by the number of values to give the variance and take the square root of the variance to give the standard deviation. That recipe was summarized here by this formula which shows how to calculate the mean from the individual measurements by summing all the measurements and dividing by n or from the histogram data by summing the frequency times the measurements and dividing by the sum of the frequency. To calculate the variance, we sum the deviations from the mean squared and divide by n, or using histogram data, we sum the deviations from the mean squared and multiply by the frequency and divide by the sum of the frequencies. And then we calculate the standard deviation as the square root of the variance. These formulae for calculating the mean and the variance and standard deviation from individual measurements are available in Excel using the functions average, varp and stdevp. So that concludes the first lecture in my series on statistics for nuclear medicine.